Well, as our hot streak cools tonight, this year's pattern of warm weather likely isn't over. El Nino typically brings milder weather. So how could that impact our upcoming winter? Good question. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell explains what the climate phenomenon can and cannot tell us about our weather. Just as 2023 is on track to be one of, if not the hottest year on record, El Nino is threatening to heat things up even more. A random person has stopped me on the, on the quad to ask about uh, El, Nino. El Nino. It's like the best day of my life. Dr. Kenneth Blumenfeld is a senior climatologist with the Minnesota DNR. What exactly is El Nino? Oh, El Nino is a warming of the ocean waters in the equatorial Pacific. When as those waters warm, it actually changes the winds and it changes the current that blows from east to west. Changing global weather patterns. In the U.S., the effects are felt most in the winter with wetter conditions in the south and warmer and drier conditions in the north. What kind of weather impacts could we see here in Minnesota? On average, El Nino winters tend to be a degree or two warmer than non-El Nino winters. And that's pretty significant when you when you realize you're you're averaging that over a whole season. Three of our top five warmest years were during El Nino. The last big one was in 2016, which shattered global temperature records too. You know, the one that is coming is forecast to be pretty strong. It's not clear if it's going to be a record breaker though. An El Nino cycle returns every two to ten years. It's kind of a big range. There's not a lot of understanding yet about what exactly causes it. Climate scientist Dr. Susie Clark says there's concern among scientists about how climate change and El Nino interact. Because climate change is this long-term trend of increasing global temperatures and these oscillations happen on top of it. And so things that might not have been very extreme in the past can become very extreme in the future because we see these compounding factors. Although many factors, including El Nino, influence global weather patterns, Mother Nature can and will be unpredictable. So it's not a guarantee of, uh, you know, like we're going to all be out at the beach or something. It's, it's, uh, wouldn't that be nice in January? <laughs> yeah, well, when we see that, I think y'all have some concerns concerning. too. <laughs> in St. Paul, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. We've been in a, in a La Nina weather pattern for the last three winters, and that typically brings colder temperatures and less precipitation.